What's good, YouTube? It's your boy Ori. Welcome back to AM Island Vibes. Hope you guys are doing good. I'm doing alright. Today we're here back reacting to another video. Today we're gonna be reacting to Young Don the Sauce God. When your white girl, wait, when your girl is half white. So we're gonna be reacting to this little video. Alright, we're gonna see what's up with shaking me, Young Don. And I mean, but I'm in cap though. I really want a white girlfriend. You know what I mean? I just don't experience it. You know what I mean? Because all I had has been with is, I've never been with a white, a white girl. All I've been with is black. My ebony queens, my dog chocolate, my chocolate thunder. You know what I mean? But I want to experience it. A little white girl. You know what I mean? I just want to see if it, how I actually think how I think it is. You know? She, she brings me home to the family. Her daddy be like, girl, Isabel, who's that black nigga you bring around my house? Daddy, that's my boyfriend. Yeah, be nice to him. He treats me good. He loves me. Girl, get that big dick nigga out of here. I don't want him right. This guy is a welcome around here. Now, Daddy, he's gonna be my baby daddy some day. Girl, you know, I just wanna know. <laughs> you know, Skeeter. <laughs> I'ma slap the shit out of Skeeter for calling me a nigga. But anyhow, I just wanna know if it could be actually like that. I don't know. I, I don't know. I see it on TV, so I'm assuming, you know? Just gotta go what I see. But if you guys are new to the channel, man, smash that like button, subscribe, comment down below, all that good stuff. If you guys wanna see more reaction videos from Mwah. Whoa, that was hella sus. I did this. Like a little princess. But, with that being said, let's get into the reaction video. So I'm coming down the hill, big cheesing, right? My girl's cheering me on. I feel like a young Sean White. You feel what happened to him? But it didn't take long for me to be like, all right, how how do I stop this? You lay inside this, huh? Yo, how do I Yo, stop this, bro? you know what's funny? I was actually watching YouTube videos probably last night on, 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 what you call that? Um, what are you doing, man? Not skiing. Snowboarding. I wanted to do, I want to do that. Just an experience. Stop. Young Don the sus guy. Use headphones. Bruh. Oh god, too much. Mm -mm, sorry. Y'all know I ain't a to shop with tool in the toolbox. There are certain things you can only see if you go to certain parts of the world. A lot of people live their whole lives without seeing things that you or me may take for granted. Take for example, some people have never seen a beach. Now, Fast. to me, that sounds crazy. Right? I grew up in Jamaica, a Caribbean island, so I knew what beaches were like before I could talk. But Facts. a consequence of growing up in a tropical climate is that we don't really have seasons. It's pretty much summer, summer. year round, which means we don't have a winter. No. Which means I didn't know what snow looked like for most of my life. In fact, the first time I ever saw snow was during the winter a few years ago when my girlfriend back in college took me to the mountains. Listen, um, you guys, you guys, I kind of like, I, I don't even remember vlogging that. I think I vlogged that on the show. The, like, you see, y'all, all right. My vlog, why, why I went to Minnesota and Fergus Falls, shout out to Fergus, that was a nice little, city, nice little town. Um, I swear to God, I swear, that was my very first time Touching snow, witnessing snow, all that stuff. Trust me, that was my first time. Even if you look at my shoes, I didn't even have the right boots on because I don't know what to expect. You know what I mean? That was my first time ever experiencing. Forty. And I love the winter now. For at least a couple years at this point, so she thought it was time for me to pop that cherry. So me, my girlfriend, her sister, and her sister's boyfriend, we all pack up the SUV and set our sights for Beer Mountain a popular skiing snowboarding destination located in the city of Big Bear, California. Now, from the jump, I was very excited. Because Me too. I always wondered what the snow was like. Growing yeah. up, whenever Christmas time rolled around, all my favorite channels would air movies and With snow. Where snow was a big part of the whole thing. My mom would be in the kitchen cooking breakfast, playing Christmas music, and this dude on the radio talking about let it snow, let it snow. I'm like, we're... When? How? How? So the whole ride to the mountain, I'm like, I'm about to make a snowman. I'm about to make snow angels. I'm about to be my girl in the face with this snow, you feel me? <laughs> so we're driving up the mountain, and the higher up we go, the more snow I'm starting to see on the ground. By the time we get to the top, it was a winter wonderland, bro. 
Yeah. I felt like a kid. It was so much snow. We get to the top and park. I jump out of the car. Yeah. The snow makes a crunchy sound under the weight of my boots. The skin on my face gets tight as it gets hit with the brisk, crisp, clean, cold air. Ugh. I look down. What? And I think, okay. It's time to see what this is really all about. I reach down and I grab a handful of what? pure white snow. I hold it in my hand. I look at it. And at that point, I realized. It's just ice. Yo, this is just ice, bro. Why does it have to be like fluffy and soft and like pop? All of yep. a sudden, I'm covered in snow. I turn around, nobody knows what happened. So I'm like, okay, I'm about to spray the whole block. I grab two handfuls of snow, and right there and then, I had my first snowball fight with my girl. And her Me and my brother had my first snowball fight. It was fun. So after that, we went to this like sled hill thing. I still haven't been skiing on skateboarding yet. So if anybody will take me, it's it bit fun. Once that was done, we went to this big cabin food hall spot and got some pizza and some french fries. And everybody was having a good time. But I was over the whole sled thing. I didn't want to go back to that. And we still had plenty of daylight left. And that's when I saw a poster advertising some ski and snowboarding activities. So I turned to my girl. I'm like, hey, let's go snowboarding. She looks at me like, really? I'm like, yeah. Can't be that hard, right? Feet are strapped to the board. She looks at her sister. Her sister was with it. So then we're like, bet, let's go snowboarding. So we find a rental shop, get all the gear. And as I'm getting suited and booted, turn to the, the shop guy and I'm like, yo, is this, is this hard? He's like, nah, <laughs> just look at other people. You, you look athletic. Yeah, you know, you'll get a hang of it. See, I was the only one in the group getting a snowboard. Everybody else was getting skied. So, I didn't have someone to teach me. My girl's like, hey, why don't you get skis so we can teach you and maybe next time we'll plan ahead and we can take all the snowboarding classes together. I'm like, babe, I ain't riding no skis, right? I went my whole life to do this. Yeah. I was born to do this. Plus, do say it's not even that hard, so, you know, don't worry about it. She's like, all right. <laughs> Fingers crossed. So we get to the slopes, we pay to get in, and walk right up to the bottom of the ski lift. I strap one foot onto the snowboard, and then with the other foot, I push around on the snow, kind of like a skateboard. And then I realize, this really isn't that hard. In fact, I dare say, it is easier to stay balanced on a snowboard than a skateboard. And I may have done a little longboarding back in high school in Florida, so. I was like, yo, I got this. My girl looked at me a little impressed and was like, all right, let's get to it. So we get on the ski lift. It takes us- Is it really that hard? I strap my other foot onto the board and I gaze across the slope. I'm seeing little kids ripping through the snow, no problem. I'm like, this is about to be cake. We get off the ski lift at the first stop, the top of the bunny slopes, you know, for the beginners. My girl and her sister take off. And now I'm just there standing by myself, looking down the length of the hill, and then I go for it. Started off slow, but within seconds, I started picking up a good amount of speed. So I'm coming down the hill, big cheesing, right? My girl's cheering me on. I'm feeling like a young Sean White, you feel me? But it didn't take long for me to be like, all right, how how do I stop You lean sorry. Yo, yo, how do I stop this? Bro, I couldn't stop. So I'm going down the hill, I'm going fast. You lean sorry. Like, yo. I'm about to die. I get all the way to the bottom of the mountain, snowboard past everybody, snowboard past a stop here mark, and glide right into these ropes that I guess are like the last resort for the noobs who don't know how to stop. And I get clotheslined and pulled oh. back. But to be honest, didn't hurt that bad. And in hindsight, I probably was only going like 10 miles an hour. So not that bad. My ego was a little bruised, but I think well, I'm well, shame, boy. It's clearly my first time. Also, I was the only black person on the hill, so give me a break, all right? <laughs> my girl was half white, half Mexican, by the way. So I get up, my girl comes through and is like, are you good? I'm like, yeah. She's like, wow, okay. 
Um, so I think I think you're supposed to turn your board, and that's how you stop. I'm See? Like, you sure? She's like, yeah. Look, look at that kid over there. I look over, and there he was, like a twelve-year-old, stopping on command by turning his board perpendicular to the slope and tilting on his board. So I'm like. Got it. We get back on the ski lift, get to the top, and this time I was like, I'm about to eat this hill. See, I've always been a full throttle kind of guy. So I lean in, I take off, and this time I am going down that hill, bro. Easily 18 miles an hour, which, if you've ever been on like one of those electric scooters, that's faster than the top speed of the, the scooter. So I'm zooming down, I'm like halfway. You really moving that far? I'm like, okay. Time to stop. I turn my body, get the board perpendicular to the mountain, and then in the blink of an eye, Houston, we have to go. I am now airborne, but not in a good way. More of a, I'm about to break my back, bro. I land on my back, my head hits the ground, and I feel like I just got laid out by an NFL defensive lineman. My ears ring, my neck hurts, and I'm just looking up into the sky, frozen. And if you've never been snowboarding, you might be thinking, how bad could it hurt if you're landing on snow? Well, the snow on the bunny slopes gets compressed from all the people boarding and skiing. So instead of a fluffy cushion, you're pretty much landing on solid ice. My girl skis over to me and is like, are you okay? I don't say anything. I don't even look at her. All I can think is, I turned the board, like you said. <laughs> like, say something. I'm like, mm, I'm gonna go home. We get in the car, I'm wet, in pain, angry, hungry, miserable. We drop off the rentals and head back home. Whole time, everyone's quiet. My girl turns to me and is like, I told you to get this. Don't. Don't. <laughs> but it shouldn't be that hard, right? Come on, you just turn the boy. Okay, 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 young don, young don, young don, young don, young don, young don. That's all. But okay, that's no video. I, I didn't know all of that. I really didn't know all that. I mean, it was so funny how I watched the um, snowboarding video just last night, you know what I mean? But hey, if there's only a little white girl who want to take me snowboarding, hit your boy up on Instagram and Snapchat, or you can follow me on Twitter and I'll be able to answer you guys on there who want to take the little fat boy on from little snowboarding lessons. I need an instructor, sure, let's be with it. But, hope you guys enjoyed this video, man. Smash that like button if you guys are new to the channel. If you guys want to see more reaction videos from moi, just let me know. I'll get on to it. Whatever it is, Hope you guys have an amazing day. Be happy and be blessed. And remember, the world is yours. Peace.